in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Clearly, you have something in mind. We do. You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition forces. It was only for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. Anderan Atisham. You speak Elven. You've just heard the entirety of it. I'm afraid. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spy master. Yes. Tactfully put, Cassandra. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. They still think I'm guilty. That is not the entirety of it any longer. Some are calling you, a Dalish elf, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Will the Chantry attack us? With what? They have only words at their disposal. And yet, they may bury us with them. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. Mm, the war table. I think it's a little similar to what we had in Assassin's Creed when we ordered people to to do some missions and level them up. But I think this one's gonna play a little better. It's gonna be more relevant to gameplay and it's going to involve more interesting choices. Have you had any trouble with them? Not at all. I will inform you if that changes.
So I only have enough people to pick one party, but I'm gonna pick them in a certain order to make to make things easy for my strategies. I want the tank to be close to the Inquisition so I can switch among them easily. And I also want the rogue to be also close so I put him last so I can access him by pressing up when I have the Inquisition when I have the Inquisitor selected. And the other mage can stay two clicks away from the Inquis from the Inquisitor and it won't be a problem. of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's odd for a Dalish elf to care what happens to anyone else, but you'll get no backtalk here. That's a promise. Inquisition Scout Harding at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. <laughs> Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's Hightown? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. What's the situation out here in the hinterlands? We came to secure horses from Red Cliff's old horse master. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there, too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. I suppose the world has finally opened up. That's groovy. <laughs> I think it was a little glitch because I started to talk to her while still jumping. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to work around this. Nothing to report, sir. Fight hard, Seeker. We would be dead if I did not. Yeah, I think I think that might have fixed the bug. Yeah, there you go.
I'm thinking about getting Chain Lightning for Solus as well to help to shock the enemies so they will be more vulnerable to other elements. For Varric, I intend to get some very basic DPS abilities. Very, very vanilla stuff. 